You rolling? I'm rolling. Hi, my name is Jake Hacker and I'm a physicist at Arup. I'm going to talk to you about environmental design. Environmental design is designing the inside of buildings to be as amenable and as comfortable to us as possible. So cavemen had a pretty good handle on this. They quickly learned that if they lived in rock shelters and uh, stored the heat from the sun, they'd be warmer. And then if they put uh, some sort of shelter around that and built a fire, that would be even better still. Nowadays, we've really optimised this, so we have very highly insulated building envelopes and some heating systems, and that keeps us pretty warm all the time in winter, and even now requires very little energy. Summer is a bit more of a problem because uh, these buildings are designed to store heat and trap it, and as the sun comes in in the summer and we do things inside the building, we just store and store heat and we get very hot. So traditionally, the way of uh, keeping cool is to open the building up and let the air flow through. That cools it down nicely, and we can put shading on to keep the sun out and uh, use the building fabric to absorb the heat that's uh, storing up in the space. The problem is nowadays, though, we, uh, we have made this uh, rather difficult for ourselves because uh, we've done a number of things. And uh, uh, particularly, we've made our building uh, floor plates deeper, which means that we can't ventilate any more from the perimeter. And we have lots of noisy, dirty traffic outside, which means we don't want to open the windows. So what do we do? Well, the solution we've uh, found is to uh, have uh, lots of ducts and uh, air handling units and chillers to uh, take the heat out of the building that's building up. But this is obviously quite bad, particularly because all of these things require uh, electricity to operate. And uh, so over here, we need, uh, we need a power station and electricity grid. And that's chucking out lots of carbon emissions and uh, uh, costing us money. So the, the uh, thing with passive design, as opposed to mechanical environmental design, is really to get rid of all that stuff and put the building back as we'd like it with uh, natural systems, keeping it nice and cool and comfortable. Brilliant. That's great.